Hey guys, it's April from The Simple Rugged Path, and today I'm going to share with you another video in my What We Are Using This Upcoming Homeschool Year series. Uh, for my middle schooler and high schooler, I've been sharing videos subject by subject, and then for my kindergartner, I shared everything that I'm using for him all in one video. I will link that playlist in the description box below so you can see what we're using for math, history, science, writing. We will also load Bible and electives as well. And then our kindergartner's video will be on that playlist as well. Today is spelling and grammar. Uh, there is one thing that is not in this video that we will be using, and that is the arrow and boomerang guides from Brave Writer. I don't have the first one that we're using uh, yet because it's going to be from their new list, and they haven't released that one yet, but we are going to start off with The Hobbit, which is a boomerang. And we will be doing that in audiobook form, but we'll be using the boomerang. And if you haven't seen the arrow guides or the boomerangs, they are just basic guides to help you go through a read aloud. But you're also going to have copy work, you're going to have spelling words, you're going to learn um, some grammar rules through these. And then they'll also work on some reading comprehension and just pulling apart some literary aspects of the books. And we really, really enjoy them and we'll be using a mix of arrow and boomerang this year. Soon I'll be sharing with you the read alouds that we will be doing as well. So the rest of what we'll be using are these books from Thinking Tree Journals. The two spelling books we receive for free in exchange for our honest review and the grammar book we purchased on our own. So I'm going to walk you through the grammar book first and then I'm going to walk you through the spelling book so you can see what's the difference between level B and level C. We did the top 30 grammar mistakes this past year from Thinking Tree and we loved it. And then over the summertime, the girls worked through the endangered animal species also from Thinking Tree, another grammar journal, and they really enjoyed it as well. This one is Grammar Time, Poems, Games, Crafts, 260 Activities, and Parts of Speech. To give you an idea of how thick this is. So they walk through what you will need for this journal. So you're going to start off with a poem. It says save this page for the poem work pages. You're going to choose five words from the poem that show the meaning of it. Then you're going to set a timer and you're going to write down as many words that you think you know in your language. Here's a spot to record about a book you were reading. Then you're going to go back to the poem and illustrate it with just a pencil. And then again, a timer for how many words you know. This time it's divided at people, places, and things. Another independent reading page. And another assignment with your poem. This time read it again. And use a black fine marker to illustrate your poem. How many words you know. And then you have copy work of words. Another assignment with the poem, you're going to go back and illustrate it with color pencils and read it again. More how many words you know, more independent reading. And then another assignment with your poem, go back and to your poem illustration and read the poem several times. Try saying the poem without looking um, and you're going to rate how you did. And looking back over all your work on this chapter, reflect on your effort, learning, and growth and then you have another poem. Okay, for the spelling time books, this is level B and this is level C. Level B says ages eight to 10, C says um, 10 and up. I'm gonna start my middle schooler in this one just because we haven't done them before, but I may find that she can do this one as well. All right, here is page one and two in level B. The words are really big, and then you have a coloring sheet over here. In level C, you can see the difference in the size of the words. And then in level C, they're going to write down the type of animal and five facts about this animal, which in this case, it is the aardvark. But they both still have the coloring page. Level B, the next page, you have some fill in the blanks. Again, the bigger letters. And then you're going to draw the animal or the instrument. In level C, the letters are smaller, still fill in the blank, but down here you're going to find the definitions for amazing and applaud, and then you're going to look up facts about the instrument, which in this case is the accordion, and then you can draw the animal or the instrument. And then level B, the next page is the next letter. However, level C has one more page with letter A, and that is spell 10 new words using any of the letters from your spelling words. 
make a map of Argentina and lists five facts about this place. So level B does not have this page in it. And then you move on to letter B. Brian, brilliant, bear, banjo, Belgium, breathe. So you can see the animal you're going to be studying is bear, the instrument banjo, the country Belgium. But again, the same differences in the pages. So for spelling and grammar, we'll be using these along with the arrow and boomerangs from Brave Writer. And for writing, I already discussed that we will be using faltering ownership. And I've already done a walkthrough video of that. And I will link that in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will link all these products below in the description box as well as the arrow and boomerangs. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Simple Rugged Path. And JJ says, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when we release new videos. Thanks again for watching The Simple Rugged Path. And we'll see you next time.